Yo, what's going on, y'all? Um, I just finished recording a video, but I had another video, like, something else that was on my mind. When it comes to truth out here in this world, you have those who are not afraid to speak up for truth. You have those who know the truth and won't speak up. And then you have those who don't know the truth at all. And then you have those who... They just push lies and agendas the entire time, whether they know it or not. And to me, it's just like, you know, the people who push agendas and lies, it's not even that they're bad people to me. It's just like, you know, ignorance, like they say in law, ignorance is no excuse of the law. Whether you know that you're pushing agendas and stuff, it's really no excuse. Just like, you know, my people, like in the Bible, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So to me, it's like those who just don't know and don't want to take the steps to know, it's really no excuse for them. And I, I can't feel bad because you're not actively trying to find truth. You just rather live in your truth or your version of what's going on, which is deception is a lie you're you're honestly hurting yourself in the long run um as far as it goes for those who actively speak truth you know it's like they say in the bible like they hated jesus because he was speaking truth for those of us who are actively out here trying to spread truth spread knowledge you know if you're not being persecuted or people don't hate you for what you're saying then are you truly spreading truth? If everything you say goes right along with what the rest of the world is saying, is that really truth? Or is that more lies and deception? For those people who know the truth and won't say it, you know, it's really like, you know, either you stand for something or you fall for anything. Are you going to stand for truth? You can know the truth, but will you stand for it? And just like I said, you know, in the video I just recorded, you know, in the end times, those who are speaking truth will be persecuted heavily. And there will be people just like now who are deciding, you know what? I know the truth, but I'm not going to speak it in the end times. You, that pattern is just going to continue. I mean, there are going to be some who will start speaking the truth because they're going to see like this is getting crazy. But there are going to be others who are like. I'm just going to hold it in because, you know, I know the truth, but, you know, why say it? Because people are going to hate me and they're going to persecute me. And it's like that you never went through the suffering. You never stood for Jesus. It's like you, you, you know him. You have a form of godliness, but you like deny the power. Like, how would you know the truth and everything? And then you deny talking about it. You deny saying it like, like everything. Like, I mean, I know that, you know. Having a form of godliness and denying a power is like people who act holy but never actually, you know, sacrifice anything. They never sacrifice their flesh. They never give up stuff for God. They never actually, they're the same persons when they said they knew God. They knew Jesus. Like, there's no change. Like, you were an alcoholic before you knew Jesus. After you know Jesus, you're still an alcoholic. I'm not saying it's not going to be a battle, but you got to actually put up a fight. So, you know, you have those who actively speak truth. They know it. You have those who know the truth, don't speak it. And, you know, I've even like ran into a few people who know the truth. And then they're like, well, I don't want to speak it because, you know, I'm trying to wait till I get more followers or I'm trying to build my brand right now. And I don't want people to like unfollow me and stuff. And it's like, so you'd rather have the people in this world give you praise and acceptance than you receive praise and acceptance from God for speaking truth. That's just as bad as people who don't know the truth and don't want to find the truth. Now, I heavily side with people who know the truth, speak the truth, and people who don't know the truth but are actively seeking it. Because if you're actively seeking it, like it says in the Bible, you know, those who seek God knock and the door will be open. He will not hold anything back from you. If you seek God, he will answer you. But you have to be seeking him. You have to want the truth. You can't want your truth 
You can't want the truth that fits what you want. You have to want the truth. And the thing about the truth is it always cuts like a two edged sword, just like it says in the Bible. Truth will always be truth, just like how this world is today. People say this world's changed so much since our grandparents. Well, the world's changed from our grandparents' generation to our generation, but God stayed the same. God stayed the same. His word has been the same for ages. Now, people can rewrite it and put all these different things in it, but if we're going back to like KJV, NIV, his word has said the same thing it said for years. For eons, it said the same thing. But yeah, I just want to throw that out there. You know, I see people who speak truth. They know the truth. I see people who know the truth, don't speak the truth. I see people who don't know the truth are actively seeking the truth. And they will find the answers they need by seeking the truth. And then I see people who don't know the truth and don't want the truth. And, you know, all I can do is pray for those types of people, the ones who know the truth but won't speak it because they're not helping anybody. You know what I mean? Like. The whole point of Jesus is to go spread the gospel, the good news. And if you're not going to spread that, then what's the point? Like, what are you like? You're holding out on everyone for what? You should be spreading this because you want to save lives, save souls, bring people to Jesus and God. Like, that's the whole point to show through us, you know, to spread that message. Um, and then you have, like I said, those who don't know the truth and don't want the truth. And it's like you can only pray for them because when you don't know the truth and you don't want to know the truth, that's when Satan can use you, whether you know it or not. It's just like when Jesus died up on the cross and he said, you know, forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. And it's like they don't know that they were stopping who was here to really save all of our souls. They don't know, you know what they were actually doing, like everything they did. Like how God says, you know, he uses everything. He works everything out for the good of those who are called by his name. Jesus was called by God to fill out this purpose. And all the people in the world used everything, how they persecuted Jesus, hated on him. God used all that for his good and saved everyone for it. And it's like, People who don't want don't know the truth and don't want the truth, they were being used by Satan to hate Jesus. They're used by Satan to persecute Jesus. And God still used all that for his glory. It's like those who don't want the truth and don't, you know, know the truth, they're gonna be used by Satan. But at the end of the day, God's gonna use what Satan used all for his good, whether they know it or not. And, you know, you can only pray, you know, and during these times, it's, you know, really good to pray. That's, you know, what I do a lot lately. I've also been feeling like, you know, praying and fasting, like I've been praying and fasting a lot lately because I'm just trying to put my flesh down and just let the spirit fill me up and then, you know, rock with it like that. But, you know, God's really moving this time and this day. Um, he's really moving a lot. But. Yeah, I just wanted to like throw that out there too. Um just see what you all think. But yeah, man, um you know, just stay prayed up during these times, you know, talk to God, do your thing. But let me know down in the comments below what you all think if you all, you know, see people who know the truth won't speak it, people who speak the truth, know the truth, those who don't know the truth but are seeking it, and those who don't know the truth and won't Look for it. And it's been your boy Chad, man. I'm out.